Let's see what this view looks like. We haven't seen this yet. Oh, oh look at it. Definitely get an idea of what it's going to be, right? Wow. So the rebar is challenged. Somehow we have to bring this dome straight over and attach it to the curved part of that dome. Wow. Yeah, it definitely moved, right? 30, 31, 30. We did not get enough. Tying this rebar and putting this rebar on the dome is a way bigger job than we ever, ever expected. Something went boom, and I don't know what it was. Use only heavy duty professional caulking gun. <laughs> Welcome to our channel. I'm Kathy, and that's Rich, and we are living off grid in the Adirondacks of New York State while building a homestead from scratch on 135 acres so we can live a simpler life of freedom and sustainability. Good morning, everyone. Rich and Kathy here, and this week's goal is tying rebar. We have 13,000 linear feet of rebar, which is a lot of rebar. So Richie is moving the rebar closer to where we need to carry it and tie it. it makes life easier for us. beautiful day. Good morning, everyone. Today we are expecting a delivery of wood from Home Depot. AM. Home Depot truck with the wood has still not arrived. Richie is up on the scaffolding. We're just putting some more rails up now because he needs to torque the bolts at the top of the beams. Wow. Yeah, it definitely moved, right? Yeah. Okay. Try and hold it, and I'm gonna zap it with the impact wrench. There's no hanging on that. No. Maybe if we get more rebar up, it won't sway as much. That's it, son. That'd be good. They're great. We got four done. We only have to do eight more. She's moving me. How much further? I feel like it's good right there. Okay. from Home Depot with all the lumber is here. He did not come up the driveway. All right, so the guys from the Home Depot are very adamant about not taking their tractor trailer off the road. And they have this little, uh, you know, mobile forklift and he's gonna do it with that. Hopefully we clear the trees. There goes the first load. <laughs> All right, this one should be fun. This is where it gets interesting. So far, so good. Wow, 
This is one less stress off our back. We got some more stuff coming tomorrow. The lumber came today and I had to go back to work, so I really didn't get a chance to check it. So now I'm back and we're gonna take a look at it and make sure everything is here. Two okay. by six by 12, so that's gonna be pressure treated. Two that's right here, how many? Two of them. One, two. There's only 16 of those. Thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty. We did not get enough. We're missing one. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. We're missing a sheet. All right. See, it's a good thing to check this stuff. We're missing quite a bit. What do you do? Call them and they send it. So we're going to try and get a little bit more rebar work done today. We do it every day. the bend a little bit and that would fix that, wouldn't it? That's how it has to go. Which is why we need the number five now. Man, it's only ten. It's thin wire. It'll be perfect here. And then you can make your bend and This because we could get that last little that twist. little bit of twist. Yep. All right. It took like two hours, maybe an hour and a half. How long? I don't know. It feels like forever. Hour and a half. I'm starving. It's way past dinner, but we got two more rows of horizontal rebar on. Next time we have to do verticals maybe tomorrow, but we're getting another lumber delivery tomorrow. These are not even, I mean, honestly, you can just look at it and see it, but I don't think it matters because it'll be in shotcrete. So yeah, tomorrow we'll start some verticals. I'm done. So done. <laughs> What's this on your face? Can we look at what, your face? What is on my face? You got a little bit of, a little bit of something there. Rust? Yeah, a little, a little From dirt. From the rebar? Kathy's You're a little too close. Do you mind? <laughs> Kathy's been working hard. I'm so done. <laughs> All right. Good morning. It's another beautiful day on the homestead. Today we are expecting a delivery from 84 Lumber. That's going to have the LVLs we need and some other lumber that we weren't able to source anywhere else. All right. Lumber delivery number two. There's our LVLs, 14 feet long. It was a 28 foot piece. We cut it in half. Tough to find, very expensive, but we got them. So I think we got everything we need here to get started. There's one, there's another one coming. What, there's two? That's unusual. The sound is all the way behind us. Wow. I have no idea if it got it because it looks so small. I'll zoom. Another one. Three. That's weird. That's definitely a first. Three of them. Yeah. We also found a source for some free dirt. That's awesome because we need a lot of dirt to cover our house with. All right, folks, we are having one heck of a storm right now. And I just heard something go boom. Not like boom is an explosion, but like boom is in a crash. And it's a little scary because 
We don't have a lot of rebar holding our dome. Look. One, two, what are you guys doing out? Holy cow, Rich is in the garage. Something went boom, and I don't know what it was. The trees are like bending over. Our poor dome. Ropes are holding still. Something happened though. Did you hear that loud noise? I was sitting in the camper and it sounded like one of the beams on the dome fell. It was that loud. Did the ladder fall maybe? Uh, it's flat. Yeah, the ladder might have fallen. It That's what fell. Yeah, it fell. It was loud. I can't even tell you. I can't believe you didn't hear it. It's pretty bad out right now. Okay. And just like that, the storm is over. So the rebar is a challenge. Somehow we have to bring this dome straight over and attach it to the curved part of that dome. And that's not gonna be so easy. This beam here that you see, that goes all the way up, that beam's not even going to stay there at the end. So we can't attach anything to that. That gets cut out. I, I think I figured out a plan. If we lay all the horizontals this way and then temporar temporarily put one in like this, we could figure out where those corners are. That's the hardest part, part, is getting those corners done. So that is the challenge. I've got a plan, but I hate to say it, I don't do heights. <laughs> we'll figure it out. All right, good morning. Rich and I are going to work on some rebar. So we've been studying the plans. I think we have a better idea of what to do in those areas where the tunnel where the annexes meet the main dome. That's the tricky part. The rest of it's pretty straightforward. It's just tedious, but it's tricky where the annexes meet the dome. And we studied the blueprints and I think we got a good idea what to do now. So yeah, these corners, these bends are a little tricky and we didn't do this one right, but we learned that we shouldn't even be doing it like this at all. We should be putting a temporary piece of rebar in and just running it straight, cutting it, and putting a corner piece, which is way easier than what we were doing. So we're just gonna get this one fixed and then we'll move on. On each side, this is too long. So our friends Ken and Sue came by again to help us with the rebar. Richie and Ken worked on the corners and finishing getting those corrected now that we know how to do them properly. While Sue and I started cutting the vertical pieces, we needed to cut 81 verticals, 48 inches each. So Sue and I cut and then when Rich and Ken were done, they started doing the cutting and we got all the holes around the entire perimeter filled with a piece of rebar. So we have the full four rows of horizontal done and we have 81 pieces of 48 inch vertical staged in all the holes all the way around.
Good morning, everybody. Today we have to tie and cement these all into place. These are all our vertical ties. They're going to serve as an anchor point for the 20-foot lengths of rod that are going to go up and over the top of this thing. We're going to go to the store. We're going to get some epoxy, and we are going to epoxy every single one of these into the hole. Tie them nice and straight to the horizontals, and then we'll have a good solid anchor point for the verticals. All right, when the foundation was poured, they put these L brackets in, which is really just a number four bent into an L shape that sticks up about 40 inches above the concrete. They are cemented into place with the concrete because they are meant to hold the number five vertical rebar. Most of the vertical rebar that goes around the dome is number four, but about every six feet or so, we have a number five, which will go up and over to create tension on the dome and hold everything together. So we just want to make sure, because we have a lot of different people coming to help us, that nobody accidentally puts a number four where a number five should go. You got them all? Got them all. Next up, epoxy. Use only heavy duty professional caulking gun. <laughs> we have a cheap piece of crap. <laughs> Probably not. This has a mixing tip. It is a pox and epoxy for anchoring these rebar, these four foot pieces of rebar we have sticking up all around. Somebody yes. recommended that we anchor it. Yes, this is a two part epoxy in this tube. And as you squeeze it out, it mixes. He's gonna squeeze, I'm gonna put the piece in. He's gonna hammer it in. And then I'm gonna tie it and level it. And then we move to the next one. And then we'll go back and then we have to tie all 81 pieces around. Tying this rebar and putting this rebar on the dome is a way bigger job than we ever, ever expected. 13,000 feet have to be tied. It's a lot. It's a lot. And it's high, way higher than I ever thought it would be. And we're old. We're doing what we can, a little bit at a time. We don't know what we're doing. We never did rebar before, but honestly, I've learned how to tie, that's that's for sure. That looks okay to me. Don't waste it, it's very expensive stuff. I'm gonna put that much in. I wanna just do this really quick. Oh, that's going down. That's good, right there. $26 a tube and the plunger only goes that far halfway that's pretty lame is that shrinkflation This is a way bigger job than we ever expected it was gonna be. He's just tying the last bottom roll. I can't do it. I'm just in too much pain. I can't bend down anymore. So not a crazy week. 
Just a week with a lot of rebar. Crazy weather, crazy rebar, and crazy high. I'm done here. Yahoo! That dome is gonna look a lot different next week. Wonderful campfire on a beautiful night while looking at our earth sheltered dome in the process of being built. What could be better than that?